How many scary games have you played? Jen's played a lot. We got them all in this bucket. Jen's gonna rank 20 games at random in 20 minutes. Right now. I'm Scott. I'm Jen. We're Retro Rivals, and this is a ranking video. We've never done a ranking well, video. We ever. have not. So and Jen we're... decided she wanted to do her favorite genre yeah. of a scary survival horror, Halloween, Halloweeny game. type games, and we're gonna do it low tech with this. But we're also going to put the tier maker on the screen so you guys can see it too. You guys put it in the comments. How many games do you think are in here? How many scary games do you think Jen has completed? Like yes. Start to finish completed. And we'll tell you at the end. We'll tell you at the end because we're going to take 20 out. We're going to try 20 in 20 minutes. Yes. All right. First game. First game. First game is Little Nightmares. Oh. Okay. You only have 20 minutes. Okay. Fair warning. Obviously, I've played both Little Nightmares at the time of this video. Little Nightmares 3 is not out yet. It won't be out till 2025. So, if I have to be objective about this, the first time I played Little Nightmares, I thought it was phenomenal. But the second one, story-wise, was not as good, but mechanics was better. So that makes it tough. Do I rank it an F? Or do I rank it an A? Because How many S's are you going to have on this list? I can't have them all be S's. No. So I think if I got to be objective and for what it is, it's an A. It's it's a fantastic game, but there's nothing groundbreaking about it. It It's it's really good, but I think I've got some S ranks in here and hopefully they'll come up. Yeah, Jen's going to... This isn't going to be 20 minutes long. I'm going to try. I'm going way down deep. Way down the bottom here. Okay. Alright, alright, I got one. Phobia Saint Dinfa's Hotel. Yeah, okay. Okay. So this game was not without its flaws, but I don't think everybody would agree with me on this. Now, if you haven't played Saint Dinfa's Hotel, you're kind of going as a detective to this hotel to find out what's going on. I think there's like some time jumping. My recall is not great on everything because I've played a lot of scary games. What I can remember from this game was that I thought it was quite good, but I could see that it had some potential flaws in it. There was a lot of running around to find keys for this door and the other door. And it wasn't a perfect game, but I would still say it's a B. So, B. Right, down. Anybody who has played it, let me know what you think. I think it's a pretty good right, game for what it was. I'm going to go on the, close to the top again. Yes. Uh, top, bottom, okay. top, bottom. Okay. The Evil Within. Oh. Okay. Again, another great game. But because of the difficulty spiking at the very beginning of the game, that was very unfair and almost made me rethink playing it i'm going to put it in the b the sequel is much better and for that reason this one has to be a b oh look at that she was under the time and that one was fast I'm gonna go deep. Go deep. <laughs> shut up who folded these oh. silent hill shattered memories oh Okay, this is a Mother's Day gift this year. Um, I played it on the PSP. I don't know if that would change my ranking if I had to play it on the Wii. I hear that's or PS2 or the PS2. But I hear the Wii is the definitive way to play it. Okay. Um, I did really enjoy it. It is different than the mainline Silent Hill franchise. Uh, there's no fighting in it. You're running away, and it's more of a puzzle game in some aspects uh my experience with it because it crashed at the end i'm trying not to let Did not have a great experience because no the game crashed the game crashed it, it 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 soured it for the moment but i don't think it soured it overall i don't think this is a fantastic version of what silent hill can offer so I think this one is also a B. It's not a bad game. I like B that it was different. Is for bad. No, 
B is for very good. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Not really good, it's just very good. All right, let's do something. Let's try Ooh, this one. You really okay. want it to be picked. Bioshock. I really like this one. I This has a little bit of personal meaning to me too. So I got to make a painting for Steve before I ever played this game. Steve K Craig Retro Games as a wedding gift from his wife, Leanne. And so that prompted me after spending time with those characters to want to play the games. And it gave me We Happy Few vibes, which I didn't add in this list because I don't think it's quite a scary game. It has scary elements, but for Bioshock, I think I'd have to rank it an A. I really, really enjoyed my time with it, and uh, it could have been a little bit better at the end. I, I felt the boss was too easy at the end, but I also did look up easy ways to beat the boss. <laughs> That might be my fault. That might be why. That easy. might be my fault. The boss was too easy, but I looked up but and big, I made But Big Daddy, like, when the first time I saw one of them, oh my god, I was like, I'm never going to beat this game. But as you level up, it gets easier. Okay. Yeah. I already picked the next one. Yeah. The Devil in Me. Okay, this was the one I couldn't remember if I had in the bucket, and I was like, well, maybe it'll not get pulled because... Didn't like it? As far as supermassive games go, in uh, that... Uh, kind of a series. Yeah. That they have, what is there, four games in it now? Yeah. It's the Dark Pictures Anthology. Yeah. It was probably one of my least favorites. We played it at launch as soon as it came out. So we're getting closer to this end. It's... I don't think everybody would agree, but it's a C for me. C? It wasn't terrible. Um, it wasn't hard enough. It, was, it doesn't... was the group you played with. <laughs> no, we just me and you played it. But when we tried to play it in the group of five, it only made it worse. We all got kind of bored. I just don't know if that's just not... I don't know. I don't know what it was. I just didn't find it very alluring. I would never play it again. Yeah, uh, we too. tried to play it in the group of five, and it just wasn't jiving. So I was like, yeah. oh, gosh. I know what you mean. Yeah. Right. I'm cutting you off. Okay, that's fine. All right. Ooh, I think we We're up to six at this point. This makes seven. Resident Evil 5. Oh. Now... This is going to have mixed reactions from the viewers. It is. Because there is. are viewer, viewers that uh, do enjoy it a lot. Yeah. And then there are other viewers that don't even consider five and six Resident Evil games. Yes. So. Okay. So, I will say that my experience with five was better. I don't know if it was the time of my life I played it. I don't know if it was the person I played it with. You and Dennis, Me and Dennis played, played it. Played one, yeah. And Teddy was a baby, so we weren't playing a whole lot of games because he wouldn't really afford us the time to play games because he was very needy. Um, I actually really enjoyed Resident Evil 5. It might not be everybody's favorite. It's not going to be an S or an A. I think that's a solid between a B or a C. Yep. And just for the benefit of the doubt, I'm going to put it in the B because I think it's a good enough Resident Evil game that it deserves to be in the B tier. Okay. That's one I've actually played, and I enjoy it because of the uh, co-op factor. Yes. Um, taking that away from it. Oh. It, it would really hurt. It would hurt it. Yeah. So, Coach Co-op really raises that one, I think. Mm-hmm. Let's get digging. All right, I got You're one. yet to pull out an S rank game. Yeah. I'm just saying. How about Scratches? That's a PC game. Uh, Scratches was fun to play in the retro room. I rebuilt the PC in there to be able to do it. Um, the atmosphere was cool. It was cheesy AF at the end. The, 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 <laughs> the, the big beast at the end was like, oh. Oh, it was like very PC graphics for 1990. Sliding this way. It's it's my first D rank game. Ooh. I, I mean, Ooh. it was a fun enough experience, but I was like, I had to push myself through it. it. You wouldn't recommend it. it. It was good enough. It was not great. Taking it out of the fact that you had just built that PC 
and you were in the retro room that was completely finished and uh, the whole atmosphere of it all took yeah. you back yeah back to the 90s yeah take that away from the game and oh yeah see if worse. you would have asked me right after i played it in there it might have been maybe one more up the list it would never make two more yeah. up the list but now that it's sat with me a while i'm like it's really nothing special okay i think jen's gonna like this one okay Resident Evil 4. Okay. Should I just go ahead and rank it for you right now? I'm gonna make this short and sweet. It doesn't matter if it's Resident Evil 4 on the Oculus. It doesn't matter if it's OG Resident Evil 4, Evil 4 or the remake. They're all S tier. End of discussion. Quite possibly maybe your favorite game of all time. Yes. I've heard this yes. a few times. A few times. First mm. S rank game. Yep. You do good picking. You do good picking. All right. Worse than death. Okay, uh, this is a Switch game. It came on a compilation pack of three. Um, it it's kind of a walking sim game. Like I'm running away from this guy. That's I'm going back to my hometown. A death had occurred. Our, my best friend when I was younger, and I'm going back for a reunion. I loved the idea of it. I played it how it should be played. No, I, it's, for the experience and the way I played it, I, I enjoyed it, but it's never gonna be an S or an A. It's somewhere in between B and C and I'm trying to decide if I like it more than the devil in me. I, I think it's gotta go here. That's not to say it's a bad game. It just might not be they my like type of game. your style. Yes, but I right. did enjoy my experience with it. I'm going to get one right down in the corner. Yeah. So one or two. That was two. two. Put them back. Mix it in there. All right. We're at 10. We're halfway there. Obscure. Oh. Played a couch co-op, yeah. me and you, on the OG Xbox. Yeah. Uh, was it last Halloween or the one before that? One before that. Okay, so and two years ago. That that helped it, that it was Halloween. Uh, it always helps it that it's co-op. I thought this was something different than I had ever played. And because I'm a child of the 80s, this screamed high school to me when I was in high school. Yeah. And for that reason, I definitely have to put it in the A tier. Okay. It is a great game. We have still yet to play Obscure, The Aftermath, yeah. and I really want to play it, but I'm nervous because I don't want to ruin the experience of the first one. So, I really, really, You also really did a it. review on yes. that one. That she doesn't do many reviews, so it's one if, of my she, if she does do a review, it means that the game meant yeah, something. Yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, okay, let's just do this one. Okay, it really wants to be picked. I think so. Bendy and the Ink Machine. Ooh. Okay. I really like the art style of it because I watched yes. you play quite a bit of it. Yes. I may have even played a little bit of it myself, but never finished it. No. Um, this one was one that I thought was a kid's game. It's, it's like, I don't know that you know what Bendy and the Ink Machine is. <laughs> so he brought it home, I started playing it, and I was like, oh, this is like... Mickey Mouse, but he had a bad day. Like, <laughs> he's maybe into some nefarious stuff. Like, he's he's gone rogue. Um, I think because of the game-breaking glitch, with there is one game there, breaking glitch and right? it made me have to play yeah. portions of it over again, I think this is a B-tier game. I I've got a that. lot of B-tier games. I'll tell you, though, the highlight of it for me is the graphics, the art style of it. Yes, it is a great B, B tier game. It is almost A tier, but that the fact that they never fix that glitch, I just don't no, even no understand. Update to fix no it. update. Have you guys commented what your guess was? How many games are in here yet? I mean, do it now. We're getting yeah. close to the end. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't even have twenty. <laughs> Maybe it's all a ruse. Gone Home. I don't know this one at all. Gone Home. Gone Home was a game I played before we even started this channel. So really? I yeah, I played it on the Xbox One. 
It was a download game, and I remember being terrified to play it. And it turned out to not be scary at all. But that's basically what you're doing. You're going home, and you're trying to figure out what's going on, what happened, why is everybody not here? I kept expecting the tension to rise. Don't tell mom and dad. And it never got there. Although it was a fun experience to play it now, it would be really. That's the type. Like a sliding down. It is sliding down. It's definitely in the C tier. It's not scratches. It's it's better than scratches, but it's nothing I would play now again. But at the time, I enjoyed it. How many we got going here? Even again? Well, I think that's thirteen, but. Ooh, lucky number. Yes, 13. Okay. Oxide Room 104. Ooh. I don't know this game either. Yes, you do. Do I? Um, it is set up it like, like a motel or, or a motel or a hotel, like rooms on the outside and you're walking around and you're trying to find your way out. And it's another one kind of like St. Definite's Hotel, but you're going to each door and you're finding the clue to get to the next one. This one, you had to get through it without dying, I think at all or once to get the good ending. And I ended up having to play this game twice back to back. It's not a long game, but it is a really good game. I think I might remember it. Yeah, now, it was like- So it's sliding in this area? I think for an indie title, and the fact that I played it twice back to back to get that good ending, I'm gonna go A tier on this one. It's a really solid title. I don't hear enough people talk about it, and I really enjoyed it. Huh. Tormented Souls. <sighs> I'm so excited for Tormented Souls too. I can't even tell you. Um, this was a sleeper for me that I was like, I'll probably have fun with it. And I started playing it. I was like, oh no, no, this is special. And I do believe this is, I, I'm fighting myself. I don't know. S tier, A tier, it's somewhere in there. Um, is it as, it, it doesn't have to be as good as Resident Evil 4. That's right. But it has to be better than the best game in A. The, Yes, that's right. Um, now that you say that. Uh, I think it's probably an A. It's, it's, it's right up there, though. It's right up there. Top of the um, it is. It gives you that old school survival horror you want. You can play it tank control. And it is tough as nails. And I was constantly running out of ammo. So it gave this like real tension of, am I going to survive this? Am I going to survive? And that adding that tension into it and it being not not quite impossible but hard made it a great game. We have 15 on the table. Yep. Five more to go. Yes. There's more than 20. There's more than 20. I think anybody that watches this channel knows there's more than 20. Condemned Criminal Origins. Ooh. Ooh. I played through this game, not quite all in one sitting, but I tried to. I got some flack from the husband here. He was like, it's 6.30, it's time to go to bed. So, 6.30 a.m. In the morning. We're, we're night shift workers. Yeah. So, this was a recommendation from you guys when we did our Xbox 360 collection. You we were like, you gotta play Condemned Criminal Origins. And I could tell as soon as I started it, I was like, this is gonna be a game I'm gonna like. You're a detective, you're trying to solve the murders like they set them up like in these little poses the best part of it was when i was going through the old abandoned mall and there was a mannequin set up and i was like this is giving me so much nostalgia for some like really great horror games i've played so while this is not an s tier game it is definitely an a tier game and i was so happy you guys recommended it and if you have any more recommendations that are along those lines i'd be happy to hear them Four more to go. Four more to go. Bramble the Mountain King. Oh. I didn't realize this was a scary game. It is more of a psychological horror game. Um, some very tense, deep, sensitive topics in this. It's like not for the faint of heart in that respect. 
Um, it gives me some limbo inside, little nightmare vibes, but like crank it up to 10. And it was a very, very interesting experience. It was a shorter experience, which I thought it was perfect for the length it was. I probably would put that in the B tier. Yeah, but I it's it's a very good B tier game. You can't go wrong with it. I would play it again. Final three. Final three. And there's some big ones that haven't come up and I'm I'm kind of shocked. Those who remain. Oh. I remember watching you play. Yeah. I don't think this game gets nearly enough love. It doesn't get any, any love. love. It's it's one of those games that may have been popular when it came out. The YouTube it might have gotten Maybe. its five minutes of fame and now it's gone. I just know, think the, the whole wind. concept of it where you need to stay in the light and if you go in the dark, the things in the dark will get you. And that whole thing gives me vibes of like, what's under the bed? The things that are in the dark are scary. And it's not just because it's actual things. It's the things in the dark corners of your mind are scary. And I liked that as a concept. But I remember watching you and you could walk by a room and the lights are off in that room and you could see yes. things in there. The eyes. The eyes are looking, watching you. There's yes. Always things watching There's, you. That, that was really freaky. And yeah. you had enough agency in the game and you're walking around that there was enough to it that it's not an S tier, it's not an A tier, but it is a solid B tier game, B -tier. and I really wish more people would play it. You needed a bigger B. I needed a bigger B tier. Two more games. And we thought I'd have a lot of S tier games, and, but I'm, I'm much more objective now that I've played more games. Hmm. Still Life. Oh. Is that an original Xbox game? Yes. yes. I don't so, think. I that's think this the is the damn cookie recipe this game. Is sliding way down this way. Oh. There was nothing. I, I had nothing to it. I had high hopes for this game when I started it. It was another crime scene one. I was like, this is going to be super cool. And now I'm making cookies, and I can't figure out the recipe and the some of the puzzles in this towards the end, and it just no, <laughs> no. Is this the last one? This is the last one. Okay. You will like it. Okay. This may get some controversy. Oh. The Last of Us 2. Oh! <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's an S tier game all day, every day. I would put it in the S tier myself. Oh, it's one 100%. of these few that I've actually played. I, I loved it. Yes. Um, there's an argument to make that towards the end of the game it got too long. Now, in retrospect, I think I enjoyed that back and forth. At the time, I was like, you were kind of constantly wondering, is this going to end? Where is this going? Is this going to end? But I think it played out beautifully, and I think everything that happened made sense to me, and it was heavy. It was a, it an was, emotional game. It was an emotional roller coaster. Almost start to finish. I really, really don't understand some of the hatred this game gets, but we're all different, so, you know, I get it. We're not all going to like the same games. For me, that is an S tier. Now, you guys are going to see this screen post-production, and what I'm going to go ahead and do, and maybe I'll leave the camera rolling so you guys can see my struggle, <laughs> but we are going to put up the uh, tier maker list, and I'm going to list them from left to right, each category, each F, category. A, B, C, D. Which one's better? Which one's the best and which one's the worst? And you guys will be able to see First that category. on the screen now. So you'll oh. see my very favorite and my very worst. Okay. Guys, if you haven't gave us your number, now it's time to reveal. There's still 42 games in here. Yes. 42 more games in here. If you like the video, let her know because she definitely wants to do 
two more. Yeah, at least. I would do another two more ranking videos, maybe 21 and 21 or 20 and 22. And uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. I played a lot of horror games. I have a lot to say about horror games. I'm I'm shocked what came up. I'm shocked what didn't come up. And that's that's about it. I think we've passed our 20 minutes. Oh, I don't even know if you're still recording. I, I hope I am. Yeah. So. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Happy Halloween, and until next time, game on.